I'm on a mission to live a healthy and cheerful life. So if that's the case, why am I sitting in a wheelie bin full of ice cold water? Oh, oh, this is horrendous. Wow. Oh. Ice baths seem to be the thing right now with many people doing them. So what's the fuss all about? Well, cold therapy is said to have many benefits, some of which include help recovery after exercise, reduce inflammation, burn fat, boost the immune system, and help with symptoms of depression. So why did I do this challenge? I wanted some of those benefits, but I also had my own reasons. Being at home during lockdown, being in the same place, doing the same thing every day, I started to feel a bit. I have a happy, comfortable life, but I was feeling a bit monotone. I wanted some variety and I fancied the challenge. Another reason was that in my early 30s, I used to run obstacle races, some in the middle of winter, crawling through the mud and freezing lakes. I was really good at being cold, but as I've got older, I couldn't handle the cold anymore. I wanted to build my resilience to the cold again, and I wanted a bit of discomfort to break free from the monotony. Hence the reason that I'm coming at you from a wheelie bin. So what were the rules? Have an ice bath every day for one week. There's no minimum time to stay in, just that the water temperature had to be below 10 degrees centigrade. That's 50 degrees Fahrenheit for all you F fans out there. Here's my week of ice baths. It's not smelling great. Showing 3.6. Mum's getting a front row seat. I cannot believe how high my heart rate is. Before I get in, I'm gonna do a little bit of breath work to help calm my nerves. Okay, come on, don't think about it. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know how to get in. Oh! Have you pressed the start button? Yeah. This is horrendous. I'm not even in up to my shoulders. But I'm regretting. Oh, putting my hands in. One of the most common reasons to have an ice bath is reducing inflammation, easing sore muscles and helping with the recovery after exercise. And there are some studies to show that ice baths don't actually work. Now, I'm not a doctor or a scientist or anything even remotely similar, but what I do know is ice therapy has been used for thousands of years to treat aches and pains. Okay, I'm gonna do my last minute with my arms in. Oh! 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 oh. Oh, I don't know what this does, but I see him do it on the YouTube video, so I'm going to do it for a few minutes. I've just got to get on with it. Ah! Ah! Then there's the idea that cold therapy boosts the immune system, which can go against what we're usually taught but scientific studies have shown that cold water can increase the amount of white blood cells in the body, and these white blood cells can help protect against diseases. Ah, oh, when you move, it's freezing. It feels like I've got a hot water bottle straight on my abdomen and straight on my thighs. Look at that, look at that blood. Scott, you're a massive fan of ice baths. Why do you love them so much? The thing is that modern humans don't really have stresses like we did on our Paleolithic caveman past, right? You know, we're not running from lions anymore. So that makes our systems not have the right sort of stress. So the beauty of an ice bath is that you jump in and you immediately feel all of the sensations that put you into fight or flight. Once you learn to do that, you reorient 
yourself to all the types of stress that exist in the world. It has um, an anti-anxiety effect, anti-depressive uh, effect, and helps with autoimmune conditions too. And so I do ice baths pretty much every day. I've invited my friends Fraser and Lee, and <laughs> they're going to keep me company. They're keen into ice baths, aren't you, dudes? Oh! Wow! Oh! With each day that passed, I was gaining an extra minute in the water and feeling more comfortable in the cold. This could have been to do with my body producing more brown fat. Brown fat has the sole purpose to heat the body using white fat as fuel and is found around the shoulders and spine. Babies and children typically have more brown fat than adults. As we get older, our brown fat can decrease and this could be the reason why some people can tolerate the cold better than others. They've got more brown fat. And by submerging in cold water, that can help stimulate brown fat, therefore helping keep us warm. Ah, oh, get <laughs> By day four, it seemed as though my brown fat was being activated quite quickly, which meant I was able to stay in the water for longer and with more comfort. Getting out's the worst. Three, two, one. It's quite incredible how that horse stance warms you up. One of the benefits I got from doing this, which I hadn't anticipated, was the incredible feeling I got after. I feel so good when you get out. It might have been uncomfortable getting in the water and staying in, but getting out produced an endorphin rush. I did it! How good does that feel? I've also read that by doing ice baths, it can release norepinephrine. And this is the brain's version of adrenaline, which helps with memory, focus, and attention. And I got a similar effect with endorphins and norepinephrine in my seven day fast video, and I'll link that up here. 3.7. One degree makes a big difference. Another positive effect that I experienced and this one is a bit weird, was that the discomfort of the water helped relieve some negative thoughts and feelings that I had in my head, and it helped by taking my mind off them. I know it sounds a bit twisted, but by having the ice bath, I forgot about the things for just a few minutes, and it felt empowering to do something so challenging. I'm 31. It's always better to have an assistant and she tidies up after me. And a quick note to say, it's not safe to stay in cold water for long periods of time. And if you're thinking about doing this, then it's not a contest for who can get the coldest or stay in the longest. Be sensible and consider having supervision. It's quite incredible that in just one week, I went from four minutes to nine and a half minutes. And it wasn't just my time that improved, it was also the way my body reacted. I went from this. Have you pressed the start button? Yeah. To this. And I've got this thing that if I was to see someone drowning in cold water, and that's a horrible thought, I know, but I would like to know that I'm confident enough go in and save them without the shock and the panic of the cold water. This challenge was about gaining control over my mind in stressful situations. If I can remain calm doing this, then that will translate over into my normal everyday life. And it's also about discipline. The discipline of doing something I don't want to do. It's been three weeks since doing the week of ice baths and I've kept it up by doing it twice a week. I want to carry on increasing my brown fat and also building my resilience to the cold. And I also want those benefits that I explained at the start of the video. So yes, I'm gonna continue.
If you'd like some resources to learn about cold therapy and some motivation to do it, then I recommend this book. It's called What Doesn't Kill Us by Scott Carney. And he basically just pulls apart the idea of breath work and cold therapy. He does it all and he documents his experience and his learnings. And it is an absolutely fascinating book. It's super entertaining and really easy to read. And then there's the Wim Hof Method and the Wim Hof App. And that explains all the benefits of cold therapy. And I have made a video about that, which I will link up here. Oh, it's the outro. I'm so pleased because I'm so cold. I really enjoyed doing this challenge and also really enjoyed making this video. So I hope that you've enjoyed watching it. If you've got any questions about cold therapy or you're doing it yourself and you're getting benefits, then I would love to hear from you in the comments box. I make videos about living an adventurous, healthy and cheerful life. So if you're into stuff like that, then consider hitting the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you at another video again soon. Now I'm gonna do something that I've never done in this wheelie bin. I'm gonna put my head under. Oh no! Go for the big finish, aren't I? Three, two, one. <laughs> Don't fit! There's no... <laughs> There's so much pressure on it. And I can't fit. Yeah, all right. See you next time. It's ridiculous. Testing, testing, cannot believe I'm going to film this from an ice bath. How am I going to film a whole video from in here? I'm shivering already.